Matthew Lake here with Experian Financial, and uh, today I want to teach you and let you know about the rule of 72. Now, this is really important when you start to look at your investments and ask the question, how long would it take my investments uh, to double? And so here's what you need to know is you take 72 and you divide it by whatever the interest rate. So let's say you are getting uh, 6% is your interest rate. So 72 divided by 6 is going is going to be uh, 12, 12 years. So let's so let's say at thirty years old, uh, you put in ten thousand dollars. At thirty, you put in ten thousand dollars. Then what happens is let's add a twelve let's add a twelve twelve years. So forty two uh, puts us at twenty k. Uh, Fifty four puts us at forty. Uh, uh, 54, or sorry, 66 uh, puts us at $80,000. So this is how long, if you had $10,000 at 6% interest, it would take you 12 years to, to double. And, and notice the big doubling happens in the end. That's really important for investments. So that's 6%. Let's say you had uh, nine, 9%. So 72 divided by 9 uh, works out to uh, 8 years. So, 30 years old, you have $10,000. Uh, at 38 years old, you're going to have $20,000. At 46 years old, you're going to have $40,000. At uh, 54 years old, you're going to have $80,000. And then at 62, you're going to have $160,000. Again, notice the doubling factor that starts to happen uh, near the end. This is the power of time and, and compound interest. Let's do one more. 12%. 12%. Now, you might be thinking, oh, there's there's no way you could ever get 12%. But, but you can get double-digit numbers. A couple, couple things. Here's my personal story. Ends, is, you know, I was with a certain institution, you know, for eight years, never got a phone call, never was asked about how my... Uh, investment profile might change. What are my needs? What are uh, what are my goals? How's my investments reaching my goals? No one walked me through that. No one walked me through, um, you know, a financial plan and how all this uh, fit together and how uh, some of the investments I were doing fit in with the larger plan. None of that conversation uh, took place. Uh, those are conversations I want to have with my clients. When I sit down with somebody, I want to be able to have those those kind of conversations. Be able to create a plan that fits uh, those those uh, those needs and those wants. And you know, I'm not a miracle worker. Um, but we'll work with what we got, and uh, you have options. So 72 divided by 12 uh, works out to six uh, years. So at 30 years old, we put in $10,000. By the way, this is like not adding anything. This is just put in the 10 grand and leave it and let it ride. And so what happens is uh, at 36, uh, you have 20,000. Uh, at uh, what's my next number there? 42. Uh, you will have forty thousand dollars at forty-eight. Notice just the power that starts to happen as you can get a better a better return. Uh, you have eighty k as well. Notice as we work in the end here, the power of it increasing. Uh, so forty-eight, uh, fifty-four. We have a hundred and sixty k, and then at sixty. Notice all the other ones had to get to sixty-six before you know we even got anywhere near these uh, two numbers. But, but at 60, you have 320K, uh, and then 66, you know, people are, are uh, retiring and say 65, it's only a year, year extra, right? Uh, we have, what, what, what does that get you calculate it times it by two, 640K available. This is the power of compound interest and the rule of 72. So you want to go and invest or uh, impress some of your friends or uh, uh, your, your spouse. It's something to look at. This is why it's so important to start, even if you have a little bit, start investing today. If you've got any questions, what questions do you have around this? We'd love to be able to uh, show you what we can do at Xperia and the partnerships that we have. Uh, but this is the rule 72, something very important to know. And notice it really starts to do its work near the end. And uh, that's the power of it. So have an amazing week. And take care.